This is Jaron.net, and now we're going to show you how to reassemble the latest Dell Mini 10V, which is a 1018, now that you have it all in pieces. Uh, we're going to go and start out assuming that you have your display with the brackets on the left and right on, as well as the display cable already attached. So with that, first thing that's probably going to be the easiest to do is reattach the webcam cable. So make sure the antenna cables are out of the way. And then here you just kind of simply line it up and get your fingernail if you can and then just kind of slide it back in. Then you also need to make sure this little cube looking thing goes back in its spot right here. Either now or once you screw in the remaining four screws. So first you want to make sure that the antenna cables are on top, not getting in the way. Make sure the two hinges, if they're the way mine are, go behind the bezel first. Like so. And then line up the screw holes and such so everything fits nicely. So once it's did. And start screwing things back in. And these two screws, make sure you're screwing in the ones furthest away from the hinges because these two are what hold the top part of the bezel on the display. Before we put the top bezel back on, we want to make sure this little cube looking thing is as far in this little hole as it can. So as you can see here, it's not sticking out too much like that. Once, you put the t once we put the top display bezel back on there, it should kind of hold that down. Basically just kind of snap it back on here. Make sure the antenna cables and the display cable are both tucked under or within the hinges so they don't get pinched by the top display piece here. They're good. They're not going to get pinched. Same over there. So basically now you just kind of snap it all back together, starting wherever you want. Just push it all the way around. Make sure there's no gaps, there's no bubbling or buckling of any kind. So now take your two screws that were behind the rubber casings and screw them back in. And place them back. And the other goes there. The next step is to reattach the uh, display assembly to the main chassis. So we'll go ahead and make sure that the cables are still hinges here. Basically just put them back on here. Then you want to take first screw back, put it through this loop there, and then put it into the display hinge and screw it back down. Put it in the other hinge. Now you want to put back in the display cable, Just kind of slide it back in. Make sure you get in here tight and all the way. You don't want to have to put it all back together and realize that it's not in tight. Then we got to reroute the antenna cables. You can see here the little groove they kind of fit in along here, through there, through there. And then it's white goes on the left one, put it back, center it, it'll snap. Black goes on the right, center it, snap, back onto the tape. Kind of just make it so it uh, stays out of the way of everything. Back on top. Now we need to put back on the back screw and the middle cover. So one screw goes right, it goes right here. There's three little holes. There's one, two, and three. It goes in this third one there. Snap back in the middle display cover. There's these four clips that kind of slide in. One, two, one, two, three. That's good. And then there's the two screws holding that in. One and two. Now, if you haven't already upgraded your memory or you took it out for whatever reason, you need to put it back in. Now we need to put the uh, palm rest assembly back on there. And what you want to do is start putting in an angle like this. And then make sure that this cable is free here. And the touchpad cable is free. Just kind of start pushing things in. Let them snap into place. I kind of just do a look over, make sure everything smooth all the way around, there's no gaps, there's no bulges, like here, and there. We'll start out by putting the touchpad cable back in here, just kind of grab it, slide it back in there, slide the latch back down, get the power button, just simply push it back in until it snaps, like so, put this back under there, get it out of the way enough. Now we have the three screws to put back in the Palmer's assembly. There's the one here, there, and over here. And you should have three sets of three screws left. And there's two sets of small ones and one set of big ones. These ones take the small ones. There's big and small. You want the small ones. 
and then turn it over and there's three more screws you got to put back in this one this one and this one and these ones as well are the smaller size screws it is turned over put the hard drive back in it is simply pop it in use a tab if you want slide it into place take the single screw which is also a long screw and screw it on in take your keyboard slide it in like that first so just take it slide it back into place here like so and then keep pushing on either side a little bit when you push on one side the other one may pop out a little bit but just keep doing it back and forth until they're both in all the way and now with both back in you're good to go four clips with the keyboard in the bottom here slide them in there push the keyboard down there's two clips here make them make sure they're both in there one two then turn it over and put in the last remaining screws, which should be long screws, here, here, and there. Then take the battery, put it in at an angle like this, snap it down, flip it back around, and push this power button and hope you didn't break it. With any luck, light should turn on, screen should turn on, keyboard should be responsive, and you're good to go. This is jaren.net, and thanks for watching the reassembly guide for the Dell Mini 10V 1018.